three seconds. That's all it takes to go from a normal glider tow to a plane crash. This is what we call a tow upset. Here in New Zealand over the last few years we've had two fatal glider tow upsets that have killed the tow pilots. In the UK they've had four tow pilots killed since 1974. So what's going wrong? How does it happen so quickly and what can glider pilots do about it to make sure it doesn't happen to them or their tow pilots? Launching gliders by tow plane is very common throughout the world. It's essentially formation flying so it does require a amount of skill from the pilot and when you're learning to fly it's quite a challenge to do some formation flying right from the beginning. Our position behind the tow plane is critical. We don't want to get too far out of position vertically or horizontally otherwise it can cause a tow upset. Essentially you're dragging the tail of the tow plane around once you go too far. In particular going too high behind the tow plane can lift the tail of the tow plane up forcing it into a nose dive towards the ground. So it's absolutely critical that doesn't happen anywhere near the ground. It's also possible to cause an upset laterally out to the side left or right. Eventually and no matter what direction you're pulling a tow plane the tow aircraft will run out of rudder or aileron control to counteract the forces on the tail and when that happens the tow plane no longer has control. So it's very critical to stay in a reasonably confined area behind the tow plane not get too far off to the side or up high. Going low is actually not too much of a problem. Most uh, tow planes can cope with that. Some countries such as Australia actually tow in the low tow position to reduce the chances of a vertical tow upset above the tow plane. Let's have a look at this incident from the US that was caught on security camera. This footage was released as part of the air crash investigation. In this accident the glider canopy wasn't shut properly and came open on tow. This startled the glider pilot who then lost control of the glider to some extent and it ended up climbing rapidly causing the tow upset. This pulled the tail of the tow plane up forcing the nose down and by the time the glider released there was no way for the tow plane to recover before hitting the ground. Generally a tow plane will need at least 800 feet or 250 meters to recover from a tow upset so it's absolutely critical this doesn't happen near the ground. The reason it happens so fast is the glider essentially kites like it does on a winch launch. Especially if towing from a belly hook although it can also happen when towed from a nose hook. So how to avoid a tow upset? The key thing is release. If you lose sight of the tow plane if you're out of position too far, left, right, up, down, just release. If things get out of control, just release. And if you drag a wing on the ground on the roll and get out of position laterally, release. The sooner you release the better and it's possible for the release to be difficult once there's a lot of tension on the belly hook or nose hook. Obviously concentrating on flying behind the tow plane is absolutely critical at the beginning stages of the aero tow especially below 1000 feet or 300 meters because there just isn't time to, for the tow pilot to recover if there is a tow upset at that altitude. That means don't get distracted in your aero tow, don't open and close windows, don't play with the cameras, don't play with the radio, don't have a chit chat to your co-pilot, focus on the actual takeoff. You'll notice I really talk on the camera while I'm on aero tow, especially down low and that's exactly for that reason. Got to have full concentration on what I'm doing and if anything goes wrong be able to react instantly to releasing and dealing with the situation. It's basically like big commercial jets you should have a sterile cockpit on takeoff and landing. Other critical things obviously ensure you're using the correct weak link for your glider and tow combination. Think about releasing as part of your pre-takeoff checks and make sure you've identified the release and have your hand near the release for takeoff especially below a thousand feet. So if you want to learn more about tow upsets and how you can avoid them go check out the training resources I've linked to below from the British Gliding Association. They've got some excellent training videos that demonstrate how quickly tow upsets can happen and it shows the different types of upsets that can happen also. All right thanks for watching YouTube. I hope you all enjoyed that and I hope it was interesting and useful if you're a glider pilot Think about these things in your pre-takeoff checks.